Yo, what is going on guys? It's Crypto TMG and we are back. We are back behind the wheel in LFM. Um not that many people on at the moment. So I'm actually ranked number one in this lobby, which is pretty crazy considering I haven't done an LFM race for ages. And I'm sure my ELO and all that is not even that high. So doesn't seem to be that many people on. Don't know why. Coat is normally a very good track. Um, but yeah, we're here, man. We're here. Our, our back is pretty much mended for now. And um, we're going to give it a little go. We're going to give it a little go. See how we get on. Um, Managed to work on a setup for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, and yeah, car feels pretty good. Not going to lie. Only problem I'm having is right now my game's stuttering. I'm going to have to figure it out after um, maybe this recording or whatever. But my game has definitely been stuttering, man. I don't know. Don't really know what's going on. So um, we shall see anyway. We shall see. <clears throat> but around about 45 seconds to go. Hopefully we can have a good start. Tend not to get great starts in the Ferrari. Um, what is the guy behind us in? Let's have a look. He's in a Ferrari as well. Then it's not too bad. Nope, he's in a McLaren. Probably gonna lose out. Um, into turn one is not gonna be great. But make sure we get a good start. And we didn't. <laughs> oh my god. But we've held held it into turn one. Our car was pretty stable through the S's, which is nice. I haven't done Coter in a while as well, to be honest, man. Slightly too deep on the brakes. Alright, so first up out the way. The only issue with the Ferrari, I would say, around here is it doesn't feel the greatest through the uh, tight corners. Right, it struggles through this corner a little bit. I feel like I got a break really early.
Guys behind battling. That may allow us to get away. a good chunk faster on that lap. I noticed with the Ferrari, I felt like I was kind of locking up, so I actually took a little bit of brake pressure out. Seems to have made the braking a little bit more consistent. Let's see if we can keep on building this gap. late on the brakes there. A good last sector. Good first sector. I think I braked a little too early then. But we are pulling away two Porsches behind us now. Doing around the same lap times every lap. I did actually use a little bit of my tuning book, especially to tune the front of the car.
Remember guys, you can purchase the book from Amazon. It's the paperback and it's in Kindle version as well. The book is called Performance Unleashed, the GT edition. Oh, the guy in the McLaren's retired. Sad. Back in, stepped out a little bit. Definitely one of my favorite tracks in the game. As I said, I've always enjoyed tracks that have different lines, where you can take different lines through some corners. Tell you what I like about Kota. Through certain corners, you can decide whether you want to push the tires or whether you want to give them a rest. And uh, there's definitely a little skill to it. Someone's got a drive through. I think I'm yet to properly hit this apex, man. Definitely pulling away now. Every lap by almost a second, I think. What did you guys think of the F1 at Singapore? I thought it was a great race. Kind of the racing that we wish we could see every week. Nothing against Red Bull, but seeing like four cars battling at the front right near the end of the race is pretty much what we want, man. Now, obviously, it's not Red Bull's fault. In fact, I think it's the other team's fault. If you if you actually think about it, how is it in F1 that, you know, we had regulation changes and everybody's car looked different and only one team seemed to have got it right. One out of the whole grid. When you think about it like that, it's the, the other teams really, you know, you have to blame them at the end of the day. Now they're all trying to revert and trying to copy Red Bull, which 
already tells me that they're in trouble because obviously Red Bull on that development path are going to be well down the road. It means a lot of these aerodynamics, man, they, they didn't, they're not earning their keep. What do you guys think about the, the George Russell mistake, man? Crash into the ward on the last lap. My personal opinion is George Russell is a very, very good driver. But I think, I don't know whether he suffers from pressure in particular, but I think he suffers when he's under pressure from his teammate. I think that he wants to beat Hamilton so bad that he makes these little errors, man. Because he kind of knows he's getting judged against, you know, what many people see as the, the greatest of all time. So he knows if he can beat him, then he knows he's going to be held in high esteem. You know what I mean? But when he's under pressure, he makes mistakes. I've seen it before. And I see it happen to him before at Canada. When he's trying to keep up and he ends up sticking it in the wall. And even at Zanvoort, the moment Hamilton got behind him, he nearly binned it. Yeah? Great. Great fade is real. Maybe I should have opened up the ducks a little bit more. It's gonna be our worst lap comfortably. Still kept it in the 206s though. I think there's a lot of question marks over some of the guys in F1 to be honest. Not their overall ability, but just their legitimacy of whether they can become world champions, man. Like Charles Leclerc, probably my favorite driver, but I got questions, man. I think at the moment, out of all the young guys, you say Verstappen, Russell, Norris, Leclerc, Sainz, out of all these guys, I could only say that Max is definitely, you know, championship material going forward. I question Sainz's raw pace at times, but I think he did very well at Singapore, his best drive, that was like Alonso-esque, very clever driving. But, for instance, like with Leclerc, I don't know whether he can think and drive at the same time. I don't know whether he has the capacity to look after his tyres and still be fast and stuff like that. That's my only question mark over him. In terms of speed, generally, over one lap, he could, he could well be the fastest in F1, you know? But it's just that just he makes them mistakes and he just doesn't seem to have any tire preservation whatsoever out of all the young guys apart from Verstappen Norris is probably impressing me the most and I'd probably say that since probably since 2021 Oh, made a mistake. Is the track still on fast? Oh, it's optimal now. Track temperature's going up though.
Power's maybe going away a little bit. What's people's thoughts on, you know, whether Russell should have let Hamilton through challenge for the win or not? I seen like, I seen, it's crazy. I seen on Twitter, like George Russell fans getting death threats and stuff <laughs> because, you know, obviously they support who they support or whatnot. And a lot of Hamilton fans think that Hamilton could have won that race if George Russell would have let him through, which I, I mean, I don't know, like he, he definitely looked, seemed like he looked after his tires better in that stint. But at the same time, you have to consider Carlos Sainz was doing something very clever, creating a DRS train. And the McLaren anyway was quicker down the straight than the Mercedes. So it would have been very hard for Hamilton to get through himself, you know. I think, I think what the realization for a lot of like Hamilton's fan base is, is that Russell is competitive. So you know, even in a championship fight, if Hamilton was in a championship fight, Russell was fast enough to take points off of him. And I don't think, I don't think they like that. Because when you look at like Verstappen and whatnot, Perez isn't going to take much points off of, a, off of a Verstappen, you know? And I think they want a similar sort of thing for Hamilton if he ever was to get back into title contention. But, you know, Russell's too quick for that. Which is why, like I said in the past, for me, for Hamilton to win another championship, he, he has to have an absolute dominant car, you know? Because if he's got a car that's just level, with like a Red Bull, he's gonna be fighting his teammate and Max. So it's gonna be a lot harder to, you know, get the points that he wants. And whether you like Russell or not, there's gonna be races where Russell is gonna be quicker than Hamilton, you know? So, Damn it. Back end stepped out. I feel like right now, all the eggs are in Max Verstappen's basket in terms of like challenging for titles. He's got the car at the moment. He's got the teammate that he can comfortably beat. And it don't matter who you are, man, that's, that's what you need. Imagine if, imagine if, if Rosberg never quit Mercedes and then Hamilton had to battle Rosberg and Vettel in 2017 and 2018. It would have been a much harder championship. Sort of like, you know, McLaren 07, oh, well, I say 08, but McLaren 07, for instance, if Alonso or Hamilton never had each other as teammates, they probably would have won that title. Because both of them were winning races and scoring podiums, they're just taking points off of one another. End up letting Raikkonen win it, you know? But at the same time, Mercedes, they, they couldn't keep Bottas no longer, man. All right, final lap. This race has gone so quick. What can I do in terms of lap time and a final lap? Tires are going, cars sliding all over the place. That was out. Jeez. <laughs> Another thing at Singapore, I didn't match for staff and get, a, get away with not getting a penalty, man. That was insane.
Okay, the brakes are really fading. Jesus. Same must be happening for the rest. They're still pulling away. Back in LFM, we're back of a win. Sheesh. Across the line. Nice little win. And it's, it's been a while. It's definitely been a while, man. Didn't really have much competition in that race, though. I'm not too sure why everyone's not on. It's literally quarter past 12 in the afternoon, man. Normally, it's pretty packed. But it is what it is, man. We managed to get the win. Um, Yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Take it. For sure. Save that replay, I guess. It was a good thing I was on the inside because just did not have the acceleration to, to beat out the other cars. And from then on, just had to pretty much stay consistent, man. Car had a nice balance. You can see he's got a little bit of a um, little bit of slip on it. We managed to uh, get away, which I'm pretty happy with, man. Pretty happy with it. But guys, um. Definitely like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. Again, guys, remember, if you want help with tuning and want to learn setup theory yourself, I have a book. The link is in the description. You can purchase it from Amazon for your Kindles or you can get the paperback version. Whichever version suits you, it's there on Amazon. The link definitely is in the description. Anyway, guys, peace.